Welcome back to Mike's Motor Works and the LA Fent is ready for another run. But this run's gonna be a little different. You don't wanna miss it. So we finally have it booked, our first dyno thrashing for the LA Fent here. And uh, conveniently, we're gonna do this guy and we're gonna do my 390 motor. And we expect to have that episode released sometime in late November or in early December. So we have a local guy lined up. But something we wanna go ahead and do is we gotta figure out what our detonation problem is. See, we're having a problem with detonation. And what happens is when we shut the engine off, we're having a little bit of extra firing there, right? And th that symptom can be because of the pump gas. You know, the, the modern pump gas is not really able to uh, handle the compression that this engine is really cranking out. So what that means is, is, you know, if we're getting detonation problems when we're shutting the engine off, that can translate to detonation problems when the engine is running, especially when you're running full throttle, right? And we don't want that because that could be really, really bad depending on when that detonation happens. And we want to 100% avoid that. We went ahead and picked up some Torco 110 leaded racing fuel. And the idea is, is that we want to go ahead and run the engine with that race fuel in it and go ahead and make sure that all of our um, O2 levels and our uh, fuel levels and make sure that the uh, uh, system and the plumbing and everything is set for it. Where do we need to be approximately jetted at? So on and so forth. Now, obviously when we go to the dyno, we'll jet it out then, but we wanna have a good baseline. So that's what this episode is all about. Running your engine on 110 racing fuel for the first time and what do you need to look at? All right, Johnny, what are we doing first? Uh, we're gonna make sure the floats fill up and the carburetor um, and then we're going to fine tune the uh, carburetor, make sure it's got the proper fill level. Now, is this because there's a different viscosity level with this and the 93 pump gas? Uh, no, I think this is a, a new carb. So it's a brand new, it's a little bit bigger carb. So we, we got to uh, kind of get it back into adjustment. All right. So the one we had on there previously was an 850. And this is a 1050, is that correct? Correct. Yep. All right. So firing it up, it, this is the primary right here? Yes. Okay, so absolutely Empty. emptied out the primary and it filled up the secondary, so we still got a couple of adjustments yeah, to make. Uh, but uh, I don't know right if you can tell on the camera and the sound, it was definitely beefier in its uh, overall sound. Of course, that is due to the 110 octane fuel as opposed to the 93 with a little bit of chemical boost on there, which honestly, that chemical boost stuff really doesn't do much. It's not failing. There it is. There it is. some more. Some other changes that happened off camera uh, that we didn't showcase. Uh, Pop upgraded to uh, the MSD ignition system. So uh, that was a big change there. And of course the MSD distributor, which is really nice. Conveniently, I'm gonna go to the exact same setup on the 390. So that'll be a nice uh, change of pace. Thank you. All right.
primary is roughly where Pop wants it. Now you gotta work on that second area. So you saw there where we were running a uh, very, very rich mixture, and that's going to happen with this application. You see, we're not running a uh, fuel-injected system, and we're running a vehicle that's carbureted set up for the strip and some street applications. So you're going to see that richer mix ratio of that uh, 13 and high 12s and, and what have you. And, and that's fine, we're gonna tune it out when we get to the dyno and run our dyno session. But the objective here was to go ahead and set a basic baseline where when we get it into the dyno, we're gonna be able to uh, set with a solid foundation and tune it from there and tune it accordingly with various jetting and what have you. So that higher mix ratio is gonna happen. But overall, super happy with the results fantastic sound.